Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is very special because I am joined with Hustling with Julian. Uh, when I first saw his channel on YouTube, Hustling with Julian, I was like, I got to get to know this guy because in life, if you want to be successful in anything, you have to be about your hustle. God's made different people to have different types of hustles, but if you're not about your hustle, nobody else is going to be. So I'd like to introduce Hustling with Julian. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, man. Thank you for having me on the channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. I mean, I'm a big fan, not just of bank bonuses, not just credit cards, not just personal finance, but of entrepreneurs and people who hustle. I mean, we each have different types of hustle. I'm more of, I guess I'd call like a white collar hustle where I'm on the keyboard, on the computer. I open up bank accounts. I don't have to interact with people. I make videos for YouTube. I teach people how to open up bank accounts and make all sorts of money off of banks. But you're more of a, I'd call blue collar hustler where you're willing to uh, purchase inventory, uh, buy out full uh, truckloads of appliances from Home Depot and just sell them out of your garage off of Facebook Marketplace. So what got you into um, like the Facebook mark, the, the buying a truckload of appliances and selling them? Yeah, so it all basically started from COVID. Uh, what happened was I got laid off from my job. And during that time, I've always wanted to start a business. I've always done random side hustles, like flip cars on the side, imported a couple little things from China, stuff like that. And I've always done little side hustles, but I've always had a, a, a challenge in finding consistency. But I got laid off during COVID. I started looking into liquidation which is for anybody who doesn't know, it's basically all the returns that these big stores get like Target, Walmart, Home Depot, different stores like that. You buy those returns and then you go and you resell those. So it's all, it's all called liquidation. And uh, basically when I got laid off, I was looking into this. I bought a Home Depot load and I made uh, $3,000 in one week but that's gross. I made a thousand bucks profit. And I was thinking, man, I just made a thousand bucks profit in one week. If I could do this every week, that's 48,000 a year. That's pretty much what I'm making from my job. So, you know, I, I much rather do this because I've always wanted to start a business. Basically that same week I got called after I sold everything the next week, I got called back to go back to work. And I was like, well, you know, screw this. I already made a thousand bucks. You know, I'm going to just keep on doing this. And unfortunately I ended up finding out that I actually got really lucky with that small load because I only bought that load for $2,000. And, um, I got really lucky with that one flip, but I ended up experimenting with, uh, many other things after that with liquidation, like I tried furniture, clothing, like that. But uh, that was the very beginning of it. And, and since then, I've just been able to um, find out what works and what really doesn't work. And obviously, in this business, the more money you spend, the better, the more return you get, the more profit margin. Wow, that's, that's phenomenal. So uh, do you have any interesting stories you want to show, uh, share with the bank account bonus community about uh, flipping? Yeah. So, so the one that comes to mind is the most recent one. Like for me, liquidation, the appliances have been uh, the most, I would say the most stable, consistent and profitable. Um, it does take a little bit more money to start with those. But uh, this one story with this lady who I got my first appliance load was just like a couple months ago. And um, she hit me up on Facebook and she was like, Hey, I'd like to check out your fridges. I'm a contractor. I do contracting work for houses and I can really use fridges and I need them on a weekly basis and I'm a serious buyer and I can buy in large quantities. So I'm thinking, okay, perfect. I just struck gold. I got a long-term business relationship. I'm going to flip a ton of these appliances to her. And uh, long story short, she ends up coming by. She buys all the stuff. You know, I just got this load and I sold everything to her within three days. Wow. And during this time, I was super nervous because I wasn't sure if anyone was going to hit me up. So I priced my appliances really low. And I ended up finding out later because I found her, the, my same listings, my same refrigerators that I sold her on Facebook for sale. 
And I ended up finding out she, she actually had an appliance shop and she did, was not a contractor at all. So she completely fooled me and uh, got me, but I still ended up making profit. But uh, do your research before someone buys you out, I guess is the moral of the story. So she was a con and not a contractor. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. She got me. So that's interesting. You said, you know, the whole thing started because of COVID. You got bored, so you wanted to sell stuff. Yeah. So, yep. And now it's growing, which is phenomenal. So you've actually got your own uh, location now, and you're growing from appliances to dirt bikes. Right. Which is absolutely amazing. You're, you're, you're instead of uh, selling return stuff, you're selling new dirt bikes. How did you get into that? Yeah. So the appliances, like, I really, like I said, with the liquidation thing, I really just started hitting consistency with those appliances. Everything before that was just like up and down, up and down type of stuff. Still a good side hustle, but not as much consistency. But the dirt bikes, I really got into as a, to create another stream of income. So if it's, if I don't have a couple thousand coming in from the appliances, then I'll have a couple thousand coming in uh, from the dirt bikes. But what got me interested in dirt bikes is I originally, the first video on my YouTube channel is importing from Alibaba. I imported uh, five pocket bikes. And I bought those for about a thousand bucks during Christmas time. And I ended up, you know, selling those and making like three, 400 bucks profit on those bikes. And I've always been interested in importing. And uh, I had this guy who's seen that YouTube video of me uh, importing the pocket bikes. And he was from Florida and he gave me a call and he, he was basically saying, hey, you know, I'm selling 70 bikes uh, a month. I'm making more money than I ever made before. Can you help me uh, importing these bikes directly from China? Because I need to cut out as much as the middleman as possible and make as much uh, profit as possible. And uh, he really sparked the interest in me to look, look deeper into this. And basically, that's why I went and I got the dealership license now. And I'm going to be buying directly from the distributors uh, located here in, in California and uh, start reselling these bikes. So it's, it's, there's supposed to be good profit margin on these. And uh, I'm just crossing my fingers, hoping everything works out as planned, basically. That is awesome. I mean, I'm impressed with the level of dedication you have to this, to be able to, okay, you got laid off and then you started the side hustle and then you got called back and you're like, eh, no, thanks. So you, your, your parish, your, your, your safety net is gone. Yeah. In essence. Yeah, it, exactly. And it, it was honestly, I definitely did quit too soon for sure. Because I, I thought that I had this on lock, but I, like I said, I ended up actually just getting lucky and I, but I found that out later after I already told my manager, Hey, I'm not coming back. Cause you know, I thought I struck gold at that point, but uh, definitely I would say, don't quit right away. Like make sure you're consistently making money for at least like 90 days minimal before you actually, you know, quit your job or main source of income, whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's the difference between the white, white collar bank bonus, making money off your direct deposit and jumping straight out of the frying pan into the fire. So I, I don't need a safety net. I'm going to, I'm going to figure out a way to make this work. I mean, one thing in, in, in my life I like to live by is you have to respect the hustle, mm -hmm. if nothing else. I mean, the difference between a normal person, a hustler is, is um, a broke, I'm sorry, a broke person and a poor person, a poor person, they don't have money in their pocket, but they have a, I'm sorry, a poor person they don't have a sense of hustle, but a broke person, they just don't have money in their pocket, but they, you know, you can not have money, but that's not going to last long. If you have a hustle and you say, I'm not going to quit no matter what, I'm going to make it work. Safety net. I don't need a safety net. I'm here. I'm hustling with Julian. Julian's mm -hmm. going to hustle until he can figure out something. I mean, for each success story, I mean, we can feel jealous and, and about anybody who's made it, but for each one success story, They've got a dozen failures that, I mean, there's two things you can do from a mistake. You can either learn from it or you can repeat it. And you definitely look like somebody who is learning from mistakes, learning as you're going. And, you know, if you found something that works, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, and definitely. And uh, consistency is key, I would say for sure. And just to be clear, like, I'm not somebody who's like, 
in a great financial position. You know, I'm not anywhere close to that at all right now. But the thing is, I'm trying, to, the bottom line is I'm trying to pursue the things that I think will work and that will make me happy. And that's really what life is about. It's just pursuing those things. Even if you fail, um, you know, like you said, I haven't had a great, huge success yet, but just staying consistent is, is the main thing to, to trying to make things pan out. Cause that's, that's really what life's about. I mean, if you, if you, you know, do something you're not passionate about and, and you don't really want to do it and you never try the thing that you wanted to try, then, you know, that's, that's a loss too, but it's a different type of loss, you know? So you got to pick and choose what losses you're willing to take basically. I mean, that's one thing in life you can tell about me. I'm passionate about these bank bonuses. I will talk to complete strangers and they will sign up uh, to subscribe to my channel. Um, so you're out. You can do this. You can make that much money. Up. Yeah, you can. And same thing with Julian is he's passionate about the hustle. You know, does he have everything lined up exactly? No, but he is doing what he can to make things work. Uh, one personal thing I would say as a fan of your channel is the stories he's got to share with uh, the YouTube community about how, you know, he starts something, how much he makes off of it, what worked, what doesn't work. And, you know, he did well, one pallet or one truckload with uh, boxed uh, appliances, worked great. He thought he struck gold. I'm gonna try again, let's do it. Let's, let's roll the dice with, un, with, the, uh, with the unboxed appliances. What happened with that? Yeah, so like you said, struck gold with the boxed appliances. Uh, sold those within three days to that lady who was, who was a con, not a contractor. Uh, but the unbox, so that was a variable because one, it's unboxed, right? And there's also a couple little dents in those. So the unbox, the bottom line is I wouldn't do it again because one, psychologically, when people see something that's supposed to be new and it's not in the box, they're like, they feel skeptical. They're like, ooh, is this really new? You know, this is some random dude off Facebook selling out his garage. Like, it, can I trust this guy? You know, but if they see it in a box, they're like, oh, yeah, that's a great deal. Like, I want to buy it. It's brand new. It's in the box, you know, and um, you don't have to deal with the dents, the scratches. That's another thing that really like people, they don't want to deal with if it has little dents and scratches. And then uh, aside from that, it's a lot harder to move if you don't have it in the box because it's a lot more, it's a lot more easy to, to mess it up, ding it on stuff, scratching on stuff when you're trying to load it up. It's just a way easier with a box because you don't have to worry about it getting damaged and you can load it up on a pickup truck a lot easier uh, when it's in a box versus unboxed. So I wouldn't do that again. You definitely can make money. It will take you a little bit longer. It took me about two weeks to sell the unboxed stuff, but preferably I would definitely go with like new in the box every time. Awesome advice from the blue collar hustler, Julian. Um, you know, as I said, I'm here. I'm passionate about the bank account bonuses, but I love hearing stories from others who are willing to drop the safety net. And as I said, as, as a fan of your channel, of your content, I'm, I'm a fan of the stories. So please don't stop the stories, Julian. Definitely. I will do. I so how, will, how can people uh, check out your channel, your social medias? Uh, what do you have with that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm not too big on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that. But uh, my YouTube channel is like my main creative uh, outlet. That's where I like to put all my content at. And that's Hustle with Julian. Pretty simple. Uh, just check out that and subscribe there, like a video or two and uh, get hustling. Absolutely. Get hustling. I mean, if you're interested in profitable content for both of us, um, you know what I'm about here. Check out Julian. Um, I love his stories, um, his authenticity. If something works, he's willing to say it works. If something doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, there's always avenues. A lot of people would say, wow, I can't make money. I can't make money. Look at this guy. He's able to take advantage of all his opportunities. He's using credit cards to finance what he's doing. Um, he's got a lot of uh, credit finance uh, content as well. It's one thing we do have in common. And with that, we will see you in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Appreciate it, Julian.